Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our demo here. In this demo, we're going to pull from a flat file uh, web service, and we're going to insert it into a flat file. As an example, there's a website called visualwebservice.com. It has different kind of web services that you can use for testing. One I like to use is called stock quote web service. And all it is is you send in a stock ticker, and it gives you back the current quote and some other information. Here they actually have a uh, URL right to the WSDL file, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that so I have that URL. So on our mapping, the first thing we're going to do is going to create a source. I'm going to choose import from WSDL. I'm going to go ahead and put the URL in. You can also have if you have the local file or UDDI. So we're going to go ahead and put paste. This is going to go out and pull the definition of the uh, WSDL file. So the option is to overwrite the infinite length. We don't have to worry about that right now because this is not very complex XML. We're going to hit no. And this XML has one operation called get quote. And we're, we don't have any kind of special uh, relationships or anything right here. We're just going to go ahead and hit finish because this is such a simple XML result set coming back. So now I have a, a source called get quote. So if you double click in the source and you go to Web Services Consumer Properties, you'll actually see the SOAP request. If we click on Populate SOAP Request, this web service has one input and it's called Symbol. So we're going to go ahead and put in the Informatica stock ticker symbol called Infa. So if I hit OK here, I'm going to go ahead and save this source and I'm done for that source. So let's go ahead and create a mapping. We'll call it get quote. Copy that because we're going to use that later. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy our source out here. And what's going to come back from this port, this get quote result, is straight XML. So what we're going to want to do is, for our example, we want to parse those basic those fields out in that XML and place them into columns in a flat file. So in order to do that, we kind of have to we have to figure out what this XML is going to look like. So a quick little trick is to create a, f a quick flat file. We're going to call it uh, parse XML. We're going to create one column in here. Let's call it result. We're going to make this 1000. Okay, so now we have a flat file. Let's go ahead and add that flat file out here. And we're going to take this the result from the quote from the web service and put it into a port called result. Okay, so I'm done with my mapping. Let's go create a workflow. Call it get quote. And a session. Now there's not much I have to do with the session because we've already set up the source and the flat file is just going to default to PM target files. So I'm going to go ahead and look at it here. It's called parse XML out. We'll call this XML really. And this is the PM target directory. Save that. I'm going to go ahead and run it. So it's running now. We pulled in one source record and placed it into a flat file. So let's go check out our flat file. And there it is. So this is what we received back from the web service. It's XML packet. It's called stock quotes. Inside here we have different fields that we're going to place into columns in our flat file. So earnings, previous close, um, the high, the open, that kind of stuff. So now we have our definition of our XML. We're going to go ahead and go back to our mapping, remove that target file, and we're going to create a transformation called an XML parser. Call it XML parse quote. Now it's going to ask us what is the definition of that XML file. So it gives you, if you had an XSD or DTD from this, we actually have the XML file. I copied it to my 
local Windows machine here. I called it FFXML format, which is the same thing as we had here. So we have XML format. We'll hit next. I'm going to go just pick the default because this is such a simple XML coming out. So here it is. This is everything we're getting back from this web service call. So this get quote result, which is XML, is going to go into the data input part of this XML parser. And out of it is going to be all the different ports or fields in XML. So we're going to put this into a flat file. I actually already went out and created a flat file called stock quote. And it has this, it matches up with our XML. As you can see. One thing I wanted to add was a poll date because the only thing coming back from here is that the current um, stock quote from, uh, from the stock exchange. So if this is a weekend or if the markets are closed, it's just going to have the same exact thing. And I don't know when I actually polled or not. So I have this poll date in here. So we're going to put everything into expression. Go ahead and get some room, more room in here. Okay, so we'll just run everything through here. There we go. And we'll call this uh, poll date. If I get my Informatica working right tonight. There we go. And we're going to just put in a session start time. Okay. So out of this pull date, we're going to put it to pull date. And then grab everything else here. Okay. So we're going to pull from the web service. We're going to get a packet of XML. We're going to parse that XML into different ports here. We're going to add a pull date onto it. And we're going to insert it into a flat file. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay. Let's go back to our session. It'll be angry with us because we change things around. Now let's go in and edit our, our target file here. Let's call it something decent. So the stock quote, we'll call it info stock dot txt. So now every time I run this we should pull the current stock this is at night, so it shouldn't change unless something strange happened with the market. So here we go. We've pulled one row. Put it out here. Let's go look at the flat file now. Remember, I had my other parse XML launcher here. So we have infostock.txt. There we go. So this is our different columns here for that. So let's go edit this flat file and put out the column names. Oh, if I can go to the right place to do that. We want to put uh, we want header output field names. Okay, so we're going to go back here. We're going to go ahead and remove that. Okay, so we're running it again. It only takes a couple seconds to run. Succeeded. There it is. Now we have the symbol, last date. So it has the column names in here. Here's our pull date right here. So this is it. So let's say we run and run it again. So you could set this thing to run every hour, every minute to pull the different information, you know, stock information. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, here we go. One thing I didn't set it to do is it, it keeps overriding the file. So I want to come in my target file. I want to say append fix this. Start running that again. I don't want it to overwrite every time it runs. Succeeded. There we go. So now we have two quotes. Obviously nothing has changed because we have, it's a night time, so the markets are closed. 
And that's pretty much it for our demo here. Just taken from a web service, parsing out the XML, entered into a target. And for part two, we're actually going to do the other way around. We're going to take from a flat file or a, a, a table, and we're going to insert that into a web service. Thank you.